If you want to hear all about the progress on my Roulette Pen collab, then stick around. All right, let's get this out of the way. If you like the content on this channel and you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? And if you like the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. I am so pleased to be offering my latest update for the Roulette Pen collab. I have been itching to offer an update because I've been using a lot of these products. It's been a lot of fun. If you are not familiar with the Roulette Pen collab, it is a series of 50 categories of products that we choose from at random. We decide what the goal is going to be for the product and we also decide when we are ready to roll a product out to then select a new random number and select a new product as a replacement. It is a total of six products going at any given time and I am very pleased to bring you the second update of this, which is the fourth edition of this Roulette Pen collab, which has been basically born out of an idea by Alexi and Rebecca. I will have put the pictures of these two fine ladies here and will also link to their channels below in the description box. I don't want to belabor the point, this is exciting, so let's get into it. One of the things that I do that's a bit different from uh, maybe some of the other participants is that I actually weigh my products. So I will show you the before and after weight in grams of all the products I used at the very end. Let's just start off with all of the products individually and I can talk to you about how much I use them and to show you the progress if I have a visual cue relative to the progress I've made on all of these products. Let's take a look. All right, I have them noted in my trusty little book here, so we'll go um, through them in the order I picked them last time. The first one I picked for this round was a product in loose form. And I ended up picking Nude by Nature Bondi 01 Bronzer and it is a loose form bronzer and it is a product that I received as a birthday perk from Shoppers Drug Mart and it's, it's a sizable amount. There's a total of two grams in here. This is a, an Australian brand and I used quite a bit. I'm going to just tap it down. I really like the idea of loose powder products for color products because it ends up being that you can take it with you traveling and you don't have to worry about breaking, right? It's already loose. How much more broken can it get? So this is what I have here. You'll see the line from the last time I was using it to now and you'll see quite a sizable gap in the container. I'm very excited about that. I used quite a bit. I almost use this every day. I have had a focus on different brands and different bronzers, but this has been my default if I don't need to be using a different bronzer for some other purpose. And I really like it. It's a very complimentary color. I am wearing it today. I think it, it suits me very well. It's a good color match. And I'm really, really happy with it. It has a 24 month life once opened. So it's a, a bronzer that lasts a fair amount of time, unlike some other bronzers that don't have as long of a usability. Although the expiry dates I tend not to go for, but if you are concerned about it, it has a long expiry date attached to it. And it's also a clean product, which I think a lot of folks would appreciate. It doesn't have a bunch of the chemicals. It's a, it, They're very natural ingredients in this bronzer. Okay, so that was number three in the list of 50 items. The next one was number 13, which was, it had to be a gift. I'm also wearing this product, and it is the Oh My Gloss in Lucidalabra by Rimmel, 
and I'm so jazzed about this one. I hope it shows up on camera very well. Do you see how it's all the way down? This was my line last time, and this is only a month's worth of use. I am so happy about that. I will definitely mark a new line, but I mean, I'm, I'm right here. And I'm going to keep it for sure in the project. I don't have very much to go, and I'm very, very jazzed about the fact that I will be finishing a gloss. <laughs> and I really like it. It's from my friend Louise. It's a perfect color. I'm wearing it right now. It's, it's super flattering. It's super comfortable, and it's been my go-to gloss whenever I need to wear something that has some color, but that I want something that is really comfortable to wear, especially since we're in the depth of winter right now in Canada and I'm in a very cold part of Canada. I, um, yeah, I, I couldn't be happier. I would highly recommend Rimmel Oh My Gloss glosses. They're not super expensive. They do go on sale and it was an unexpected gift and I really like it and has, it's kind of a dusty rose color and it has iridescent blue shimmer in it and it's made with argon oil which is probably why it's so comfortable so i love this product i will finish it highly recommend the next product that i picked was number four which was a uh, drugstore product and what i chose was the joe fresh illuminating primer and i swapped this out for the joe fresh powder because the loose setting powder i had put into this project i accidentally had put it in a different penny project so i had to swap out the the product the difficulty i have with this which is why it makes so much sense for me to weigh my product is if you take a look you can't tell you can't tell how much product is left in here it is a really neat product. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand because I want to show you what it's like. Don't want to waste it, but here it is. It's a little pearl that I put on my hand. I want to show you. It's a very luminous primer, and I have it on my face right now under my powder. I hope it shows. It's very luminous. What I do is I put it on the periphery of my face and then down the bridge of my nose uh, just as a highlighter and it works not only as a primer but it really does work as a liquid highlighter. And I think you can see some of the shine around my forehead here, cheekbones, chin. It's, it's very illuminating. I really like it. It's called Long Wear Smooth Radiant Finish. I agree with all of these things and I only paid a couple of bucks for this container. They were discontinuing them. They were 75% off and I thought it was an absolute steal. The color that I have is in champagne if you're curious. But again, I wish I could show you the progress. The only way I can show you progress is with the weight change on the scale at the end of this video. But it was a pleasant discovery. It was a lot of fun. Um, if you wanna hear about more of the Joe Fresh products that I picked up at this 75% off sale, I will put a link to an associated video right there for you. All right, we're halfway. Let's see what's next. Oh, another favorite. This is number 35, which was a ColourPop item. This is the semi-precious from ColourPop. It's the only ColourPop item I have. The only reason I have it is because ColourPop was at Sephora last uh, holiday season. And this is what it looks like. It is eight shimmer slash metallic shadows. Very, very pretty, hence semi-precious. And I used every single one of these colors in here. I'm very, very pleased. This ended up as well as being one of the eight holiday palettes that I focused on during the month of December. But out of all eight palettes, this is the one that I gravitated toward the most. And I gravitated toward it not because it was in this project. I wish I were that disciplined. Just because I loved the colors so much. I think this icy blue is absolutely beautiful. These two are gorgeous. Uh, as a combination inner and outer lid. And I also ended up using these, these two and these two as colors that went really well together. And Celestial over here is one that I would be using all the time if I didn't hold myself back a little bit. And then this greenish gold, kind of almost like an olivey green goldish color is it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful 
The only ones that I had um, a little bit more trouble using were the two darker ones, uh, darker browns, so this one and this one. But when I started using them on the outer lid, I found that I had no trouble using them really. And I think, I mean, this palette before the, the uh, Roulette Pen collab was almost untouched. And I think that you can see, at least in these two, you can see quite a bit of wear in the pan. It's, for some reason, the wear is not showing up so much elsewhere. I can also see, you may not be able to see it on camera, but these two as well have quite a bit of wear. They're beautiful colors. I love them and I will definitely continue to wear so, them. Yes, I do want to continue to wear them. The only thing is though, I have been using this palette for a couple of months. It was in my holiday palettes focus for December. And I really, I could keep using this palette all year. I just want to give other palettes a go. Uh, just like the palette that I have on my eye today, it's the first time I used it. I had it for about a month and it, you know, it needed some love. It's the, the MAC uh, I, I Party in Rose. I just really wanted to to wear it. And if I, if I keep focusing on this one, I won't be giving other palettes some love and this is just has turned into a default and I really need to kind of move my attention to some other palettes. So I will be moving this one out of the Roulette Pan collab for something else. It wasn't getting enough attention, now it's getting too much attention, so it's time for it to move on. I'll pick my replacement at the very end. So now we are down four, I have two more to go. Next one is number 47, which is one of my favorite products. Okay, I had to look it up. Number 47, the definition is a product you're currently loving. That is no understatement. I absolutely love this product and I was really saving it, only using it once in a while. And it is the Mont Guerlain perfume. And I have a deluxe sample here and it was all the way at the top at the beginning. It was kind of right here last time. I have pictures, I'll do a comparison for you. And now I am here. I used it a lot during the Christmas season. I'm super, super happy with this perfume. In fact, I'm wearing it today. I really love it. And it was competing during the month of December. And I was wondering if I was going to make any progress because I was using La Vie est Belle from Lancôme because I was doing a focus on Lancôme. If you're curious about that, I will link it right here. But I also told myself it is Christmas. So on days where I'm going out and I want to and it's a Christmas party and it's it's a special time. I will be continuing to use this perfume and I'm super happy I did. I certainly did make some progress on it and I will continue to use it in this uh, coming month, which is we are now into January and I'm definitely going to keep this in the project. It has been one of the major highlights of this Roulette Pen collab. I've been really lucky the last couple months. I've just it's been a super, super good experience. Not that the last edition that I participated in wasn't, it's just this one is just feels extra special to me and I'm so grateful. So yes, this is going to stay in the project because I'm kind of giddy about it. So yeah, we're not gonna change a thing. Last but not least, I had number 45, which is a lesser known product. And for that purpose, I chose the Quo Brow Box, the Brow Palette. What's it called? Brow Palette. Simple enough. And it looks like this. There's the brow wax, the brow powder. There's a highlighter in the middle that I really, I have to tell you, I am not using. But these two products on both ends, I'm definitely focusing on. And I think that by the next update, I will be out of this wax pretty much completely, but I do have a wax that I can add into it once I'm done. But I think that once I have the wax completed, because of how much brow product there is as far as powder, I think I'm going to consider it complete once I have the brow wax done. If anything, that product would be the one I would argue would probably go bad because it's not a powder based, it's a, it's a creamy based product. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to consider. So. I'm going to keep it for one last month, but I have a feeling if I use it every day, this is going to be gone. So that's what I'm going to do.
but I really enjoy it. This is a perfect little package and I have said, I will say it again, once I finish the product in here, I will definitely refill. I'm going to keep using this little guy because there's a little brush in it. There's everything I need for a brow look, including a highlight that right now I'm not using because I've got a ton of other stuff. Yeah, I really like it. So there you have it. Across six products, I've made some good use and or progress on all of them. There is one that needs to make its way out, which is the semi-precious. And so I am going to choose another random number between one and 50. So let's do that now and figure out what I'm going to uh, swap out for this next month. So I'm going on um, random.org. I'm selecting the range from one to 50, and I got the number 27. So let's take a look at what number 27 is. 27, if I counted right, because I don't have the numbers next to the, uh, the categories, is a product that is hyped on YouTube. I had a lot of trouble choosing this product. I kept looking at my collection going, what am I going to choose that's hyped up on YouTube? Well, I'm going to say that I think the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, not really the lip creams, there's another category that's more hyped up, but this is the one I have. And this one is the in the color Montreal, which is why I bought it was just because of the name. Let's see what it looks like. It's the NYX products just get so much airtime as a drugstore lip product that is supposed to be as good or better than high-end lipsticks. And ooh, that's an interesting color. I guess we'll find out how it goes. I'm just going to put a second coat here. I think gauging the progress on this is going to be really hard because it looks like it's just opaque. But that's why weighing the products is going to be good. This is the color right here with the second coat. It's very pink, but I can use it. I am um, intrigued by this product and it's probably a good thing that I'm putting it into this project because I've had it for at least a couple of months and I haven't touched it. I swatched it once after I bought it, but I didn't use it. I used the metallic gray and black that I had around Halloween because I bought three of them at the same time, but this one I have not used. I love the name. The consistency looks pretty comfortable. So yeah, this is the one that I'm going to put in, which makes sense because I think, I think it goes with Lucy Delabra to a certain extent. This could be a topper and I'm going to run out of this thing. So it's not a bad thing to have a lipstick to go along with the gloss. I like this and the gloss is probably going to make the lipstick even more comfortable this lip cream it's called so there you have the new products i have for you right after i'm done talking the scale weight of the products at the end of the last update and the weight of the products at the end of this update Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it very much. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next update and in the next video. But for now, take care.